Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at these guys, the Hollyland Cosmo 600 wireless video transmitters. Hollyland got in touch with me a couple of months ago and asked if I would do a review of this Cosmo 600 uh, unit that they have to market. They have a couple of different levels. They have the 400, which is around 1000. They have the 600, which is around $1,700. They have a thousand plus. Uh, all the numbers are associated with the maximum meters that they can transmit. So the um, 600 is good to 600 meters. The thousand is good to a kilometer. They also sell a Cosmo 2000, uh, which is four and a half grand if you really want to send your um, wireless signal to the next suburb. But I was interested to check these out. They're very nicely packaged. They come in their own custom hard case with custom cut foam. Both units can be powered two ways. The transmitter has um, Limo input power on the side from a DTAP. Um, and it also has like a Sony style MP battery case. The receiver, which is, as you see, quite a bit, it also has a Limo power, but this takes a V mount um, and it also has a DTAP out. So you can mount this to your video village and use it, uh, the DTAP I mean, to power other um, devices as well. Comes with a bunch of little accessories like uh, varying antennas and mounting options. Um, something I was interested to see in the data on this is that the signal going between the transmitter and the receiver is encrypted with 128-bit encryption. So uh, no one's going to be picking up your um, wireless signal and watching the movie before you've even finished it. Unlike some other um, video transmitters in this range, they have their own little screen you can change channels, uh, access the menu, see the signal strength, see any errors that you've encountered. And it's a big help if you're having trouble with your signal and you want to troubleshoot what's going on. It also has HDMI in, SDI in and SDI out. So you can use this as a loop through and pass the signal on to another device after you've sent out the video, which is actually a really big help. The transmitter and the receiver connect automatically and the receiver has a USB port, which I assume is for um, firmware upgrades or anytime you want to get data into the receiver. They seem to be super well made. They're um, full cast metal, not plastic, except for the um, battery casing. The HDMI and SDI ports are flush with the casing. So there's no little piece sticking out that can break off or um, get loose over time, which is a nice design feature. All in all, it's a pretty well-designed and well thought out unit. It is 10 times the price of the HDMI only entry level transmission. It's something you're gonna have for years. It's gonna work well for years and you're basically gonna be able to get a lot more use out of it. And it's not gonna become something that um, you're always gonna have to deal with. My advice would be to start with your HDMI transmitter, see if you get use out of it rather than running a cable from the camera to the monitor. Um, and if you do, then step up to a system like the Cosmos 600. Um, it's gonna be a lot more reliable, a lot more robust. It's gonna go down less often. When it does, it's gonna reconnect automatically. It's gonna be a lot easier to power. And generally, it's a more professional solution. That's my review of the Hollyland Cosmos 600. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, I will leave the links to these items in the description. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time.